everyone, it's Allison from the Protocase Designer team. Today I'm going to go over the Export to iGIS feature in Protocase Designer. So this feature will allow you to export your PDA file, also known as a Protocase Designer assembly, into an iGIS file. The iGIS file format is a type of file that's supported by nearly all of the CAD software on the market. So by exporting an iGIS file from Protocase Designer, you'll then be able to import your project into your chosen CAD software. And this can be useful for things like archiving your projects as well as completing checks. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to open up my Protocase Designer assembly file that I've been working on. Okay, so now my file is all loaded in and opened. From here, we need to go to the top menu bar and select the export menu. And then here on the drop down, you select Export Assembly to iGIS. You will then see a pop up that explains that this iGIS export feature is currently in beta. So if you're a SolidWorks user, the iGIS file you export from Protocase Designer will be compatible with SolidWorks 2018. All earlier versions, it doesn't work properly. Okay, so now Protocase Designer is going to process your export request. One thing to note, the more complex your design is, the more time it will take to export that file. This is because Protocase Designer exports each feature of your design individually. So for instance, if you have any complex custom cutouts or PEM layouts, the software is going to need to export each piece so there is proper representation when the file is reopened inside your CAD software. And so because the project I'm exporting is pretty complex, this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'll be back once the export is done. Okay, so now we can import that iGIS file into SolidWorks. I'm going to open my SolidWorks 2018 first. One thing to note, you need to enable the 3D interconnect setting. You can find this by going to Tools, Options, then Import. And under General at the top, you see a checkbox that says Enable 3D Interconnect. Just check that box and you're good to go. And from here, you can open your exported iGIS file by going to Open at the top menu and find your iGIS file. It's important to note that you will be looking for an iGIS file, I-G-E-S. The iGIS file that I have exported from Protocase Designer has been saved in the same location where I had originally saved the Protocase Designer assembly file that I was working on. Okay, so I found my file, click open, and the software will then begin to import it. It may take a few seconds. Okay, so now my exported designer file is now open in SolidWorks. So from here I can complete my checks or archive it for my files. And that's all there is to exporting and importing an iGIS file. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions about this feature or any other part of Protocase Designer, please email us at info at protocasedesigner.com. Thanks very much for watching.